I am going to rank every energy drink I've had. And I've had a lot. And these aren't even all the energy drinks I've had. Just most of them that I could think of. I bet I'm missing quite a few. But there's over 120 <laughs> different energy drinks on here. And I'm going to do a tier list of them all. So I'm going to start with Red Bull. Well, I'm going to go in order of just like the most popular to least popular. And Monster Red Bull is definitely the big boy of all of them. And OG Red Bull. I'll give it a, I'll put it in B tier. It's good. I'd say it's probably the best, like, original tasting energy drink. Like, that, that, like, you got Red Bull, Monster, Rockstar, all of their, like, original flavor tastes. And I think Red Bull has the best flavor. The Coconut Edition. The Coconut Berry. This one is really good. I'm gonna put this in A tier. When this came out, I got it all the time. And very good, even though I'm not a huge fan of like the sugar amounts in some of these energy drinks. The coconut one, I didn't care. Like it was like that good that I got it a, a lot when, right when it came out. And I, it's still one of my favorites. Like I'll go back to it and have it occasionally. Um, then you got the new one, the summer edition for, I think it's this year's summer edition, the strawberry apricot. This one I'll put in C tier. Not as good as original Red Bull, and it's not bad. It's not a bad energy drink. Sugar-free Red Bull is one of my favorites. I'm putting it in S tier. It has like a very smooth taste that is just like, I could drink it all day long. Like, I, I go through like, sometimes I'll just like be craving it. I'll be like, oh, I need to get my, I need to get a sugar-free Red Bull. Zero Rebel, not as good. I don't know what they do from going sugar-free to zero, like zero carbs, but very bitter tasting and not as good. All right, green, dragon fruit. So there's the, Red Bull comes out with these like additions every so often and like they, they're, they don't stay around that often. There's a few that stay around, like the coconut one stays around for a while. The green one I think does, and then the green, yellow, and green, yellow, and red are around a lot. Green, I'm not a huge fan of. I put it in B. Yeah, I'd put the I put the green Red Bull in B. It's good is alright. Nothing eh, I'll put it in C. It's not as good as regular Red Bull. And it's not worse than the other ones. Summer edition. I don't remember what year this was. The Beach Breeze one. Did not like it. It reminded me of like laundry detergent. That's what it tasted like. I'm gonna put that way down there. Um, some people might be upset by that, but I didn't care. I got a lot to go through, so I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Um, yellow. Yellow Edition Tropical was good. Not as good as regular Red Bull. Definitely not A tier. Cuke. Oh, what was this one? I gotta look at the picture's bigger because I can't see what it says. Karuba Elderflower. This one I think is the most recent summer one and it was alright. I put it same area. Watermelon put in the same area. So that's the Red Bull broken down. A lot of C tiers. One bad one. I'm gonna put I'm D. D tier. D tier is gonna be the tier that is bad and then f tier is they should have never created this energy drink and i i have a few that i've remembered having that will be down there but that's about it there's not a lot that will be in uh, f tier so we got monster i'm gonna put regular monster in c tier not as good as regular red bull or original red bull but not bad. Monster Nitro goes in D tier. That one was bad. Definitely. <laughs> that, that's close to being like, uh, shouldn't have made it. It just is just weirdly bad. This one is a reserve. I can't read the, what it is. I think it's the pineapple one. Monster Reserve Pine, I think it's the pineapple one. I'll put it in C tier. It's not bad, not horrible. 
Not great though. Juice monster mango. This one's the mango juice monster. This one's probably the best of the juices. Let me see if I can just find their other juices. All the other juices are just not good. They're way too sweet and just don't taste good. So I'm just throwing all the rest of the juices in the D tier. They're not good. Like, I wouldn't recommend any of them really as an energy drink to drink. They're just way too sweet and um, the flavors don't really match up that well. Like the fruit punch one, it, I, the fruit punch you can just mess up so easily and I'm not a fan of that fruit punch one. Monster low carb energy. Oh, this is a tough one. I love this one. Um, it's it's between these two. It's between A and S. <sighs> I'm gonna put it in A. It's really good, but um, I gotta give my favorite monster of all times the white one. So that one's going in S tier. I could drink that, it's like drinking water. If you haven't had the monster ultra white one, Definitely would recommend. I'd recommend any of the ultras really. They're all good. Like I'd put the I'd put purple in there. I'd put the strawberry one in B. I'd put the blue one in B. I'm not a huge fan of the peach one. Oh, orange orange one's bad. The their orange flavored one, not good. Ultra Sunrise, I think's the name. Yeah, Ultra Sunrise, not good. But purple, the strawberry one, and then the blue one. Those are good. They're not, it's so weird. They're not like, purple isn't grape, I don't think. And then blue is, they're just, Monster has some weird flavors. Um, Ultra Paradise is decent. I'll put that down there. It's not better than the blue or strawberry, that one. Um, same with this one. I can't even remember what that one is. The green, Ultra Feisty Mango. It's all right. And then peach, it's not bad. If you like peach, it's good. But I don't like peach, but I'll leave it in C tier because it is good. It's definitely a good peach flavor, but I'm not a fan of peach. Monster Rehabs. We got Monster Rehabs, then we got the Outcast Monsters <laughs> after that. So Monster Rehabs are non-carbonated, like usually like a lemonade or something like that. The... My favorite of these is the tea and lemonade. I think that one is way above everyone, all the other ones. I'm gonna put that in A tier. It's that's almost my favorite monster. Between the white one and tea and lemonade, they're close. Like I wish I could put like another tier there, but I, I don't think I could put it in S tier. Um, the other rehabs. It's like a main. Ugh. Which one is that one? Other rehabs are all right. They're not great. Peach, that's yeah, the peach one. I'm gonna put the peach one D, just cause I don't like peach. The watermelon one, which I think is this. This is strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemonade's good. I'll put it up here. Strawberry lemonade's good. Raspberry's good. Uh, watermelon is not good. Put that in D tier. Then you got the the outcasts of the monsters. You got this black one, which is not good. Put that in D tier. The hydro monsters, I don't know if you remember these, but they had these, they was like drinking, it was like water, but it had a little bit of monster flavor and caffeine in it. They were bad. Um, I would not go as far as to say they shouldn't ex have existed. I think the idea was a little ahead of its time. There's other drinks that do the same thing now that are probably better than Monster did it, but that's about it. And then Monster Assault. If you were unfortunate enough to have a Monster Assault, it it assaulted your mouth. It, it should be in jail, and it should never, ever come back. I think it's discontinued because it was so bad. So <laughs> that's, that's my... Uh, Monster list. Monster has a lot more than I think everybody else. Monster has a ridiculous amount of drinks. There's a whole lot of ones I didn't even have on here, like the coffees. I had those like once or twice. I'm not a huge fan of the coffee ones. Um, 
but I didn't I didn't screenshot all of the monster energy drinks because there's just so many of them but I did do a lot of them and they're most of them are good well, actually most of them are not that good and mediocre and then a few are in B and A and S um, next we got Rockstar Rockstar oh, I'm missing one I was like I'm missing the worst one Let's just start out with this one. Zero Carb Rockstar. It's like a blueberry, I think. Awful. It was, it is the worst one of, of all the Rockstars that have come out. Definitely bad. <coughs> it was the, I think it was the only Zero Carb one before they made the zero other zeros of Rockstar. I can't say it's the first zero. I don't know that, but I do know that it was earlier to Rockstar Zero Carb or Zero Sugar Club. Then you got the x Durance ones, which I'm putting, like, the... This, just this Rockstar x Durance as, like, the whole class of those 300 milligram ones that they came out with when, like, Reigns and Bang started getting popular. Rockstar made a 300 milligram one to try to compete with it, and, like, it had zero calories. But they just tasted bad. The, the Rockstar Zeros, almost all of them tasted bad. Here's another x -Durance. They weren't, they didn't taste good. Like, the flavors sounded like they would be good, and then it just, the, whatever they used for zero sugar things just wasn't as good as, um, other people that have zero sugar drinks. Then you got the Rockstar Fruit Punch. This one is, ooh. Mmm. I gotta put it in S tier. Ah, no, I don't. Yes, I do. This is this is my very first energy drink, so I'm a little biased. It was the first one I got, and depending on when you get it, like I don't know how to describe it, but sometimes you get a fruit punch rock star, and it's just like it's the best drink in the world. And then other times you get it, and you're like, this tastes a little, this tastes a little off. I don't know if like, they just if they just manufacture it differently week to week or month to month or it sits in the fridge for too long or something. But it's hit or miss. But when it hits, it's there it's one of my favorites. It's the best fruit punch tasting thing. Definitely not healthy at all. I think there's like more sugar in that than any other energy drink by a landslide. But very, it tastes really good. Then you got their Unplugs, which they came out with for competing with like Celsius's, which is like their uh, healthy, um, it's like the healthy, clean energy things that a lot of companies did with when Celsius came out, started doing really well. They're all right. They're, I wouldn't say they're all right. They're pretty bad. They're pretty bad for their taste. They don't taste good. I don't know what Celsius does that other companies just aren't doing but you can taste celsius tastes good and then whatever these other companies do to make like clean energy drinks it just doesn't taste the same all right and you got this is going in s tier oh you're going in s tier this is rockstar organic island fruit i don't know if they had other organics that failed i think they did i remember i think they had another organic one but it was very good it wasn't it wasn't like zero sugar it had sugar in it but it had cane sugar in it which tastes it just tastes so good compared to other sugars and the flavor of it was amazing it was, they made it with like green coffee beans and for the caffeine and then cane sugar it's one of my favorites of all time when that came out i got it a lot they don't have it on the East Coast, but they do sell it in, like, Safeways in the West Coast. And, like, I got it in Hawaii a lot because they still have it around there, which I was super excited when I went down to Hawaii that they had it. Um, ooh, there's another good one. Rockstar Punched Watermelon. So there's a difference. There's the Rockstar Punched Watermelon and there's the Rockstar Zero Watermelon. Zero Watermelon goes in B tier, but the Punched sugar watermelon one 
tastes just like Sour Patch Kids watermelons. Like, it's incredibly good. I would, uh, I don't know if they still have these, but they were, they were amazing. Like, you were tasted like you were drinking, uh, you were tasting. I think, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong remembering it. It could be that the Zero Sugar one was the one that tasted like Sour Patch Kids. Because I remember I got the watermelon recently, and it didn't taste the same. So I think they might have changed it a little, but it might might be the, the Pure Zero is just the one that tastes like Sour Patch Watermelon Kids. So this this punched in A tier has an asterisk on it. Just letting you know that now. Um, the Zeros, they're bad. The Pure Zeros are energy drinks that they have. They just don't taste good. They taste super fake. The only exception is the white one. The white one's really good. I'll put that in A tier. The white one tastes like the white monster, just a little different. The white monster is just a lot, a little smoother than the Rockstar white one, but they're very similar tasting. Like they, like Rockstar probably copied the monster, I would, I would assume. But then you got the recovery line. I didn't add all the Rockstar recoveries, but they're good. Similar to monster rehabs they're no they're not carbonated and they have like a other stuff in it that hydrates you and stuff then you got the original rockstar which i'd put um i put it down here i'd say it's worse than monster and red bull it's not bad it's kind of bad then you got the um i think that's it for rockstar yeah that's it for rockstar Moving on. Now we got Celsius. Celsius is a was a new. It's hard to man. It's hard to rank and describe Celsius. They're good. They're good. These aren't the hell. The the they have these heat ones. Thermo. I'll put that in F tier. Just taste bad is bad. Then they have these weird ones that i don't know what they are they're like bigger bottles and they're different flavors and they're like they're like celsius forgot who they were and they just made a crappy generic energy drink it's weird i would never recommend getting their bigger bottles because they're just way different than the regular ones kiwi see i wouldn't put any celsius in it S tier. They're just not as they don't taste as good as other things do, but they're not bad. I'll put kiwi guava. That's one of my favorite Celsius is an S tier or A tier. Green apple cherry A tier. Orange A. They're non-carbonated like peach mango tea is probably my favorite peach flavored thing. The vibes. Now let's get watermelon. Watermelon C. Watermelon's not as good as the other ones. The Vibe flavors. They have quite a few Vibe flavors now. Cosmic, Tropical, Astro, Arctic, Fantasy, Oasis, Peach. I think I have a missing one or two, maybe. Um, this is where Celsius starts to get bad, usually, is when they don't go into, like, fruits when they travel outside of fruits they get they don't taste good like when they try to make flavors that are um not naturally occurring things they're not that good like the fruit punch one i'm gonna put an f tier too it's just bad the fruit punch just tastes bad it's it's like worse than a rockstar zero fruit punch not not a good flavor it tastes like it's it was just like they didn't put any effort in it. It's like we gotta have a fruit punch one. Tropical vibe, which is I think star fruit and pineapple. I'm gonna put that in A tier. When I go to get Celsius's, Celsii. Whenever I get a Celsius, I'll go kiwi guava tropical vibe or strawberry lemonade. That one is really good too. Probably the best strawberry lemonade one I've had. Oh, I don't have Fuji Apple up here. That's another flavor. That's A tier 2. Fuji Apple. Put that in there. Astro Vibe. 
I'm gonna put all these in C. They're all not that great. They're not bad, they're not that great. They're going all in C. And that's Celsius. Few good ones, a lot of bad ones. They're, they're good. They're, Celsius is good. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Not, <laughs> nothing, no, nothing, not a lot to say about Celsius. All right, then you got rain. I remember when rain came out, it was a big deal because at least for me, I was like, what the heck is rain? Who makes rain? Had no idea. Um, and they were good. Like Blue, Blue Raspberry was like an original one. That was really good. Uh, what's another original one? Oh, this is the Tropical one. Tropical Storm, not good. Cherry Limeade, not good. Melon Mania, good. Put that in it. I'll put that in A tier. Um, Orange Dreamsicle, also A tier. Lemon HTZ, not that good. I'll put it in C tier. Put it down here with C tier. Sour Gummy Worms was good. I'll put that in... I'll put that in A tier. Then you got... Rainbow Sherbert. That's going to go in S tier. That's one of my favorites of all time is Rainbow Sherbert. Definitely one of their best flavors. This is going to be probably the hottest take of um, the tier list for people. If you had it. Because I've had, I know, I know plenty of people that have had this and they hated it. And some people had it and they loved it. And that is the Jalapeno Strawberry Inferno Rain. And I absolutely love it. Like, I'm gonna, pu I'm putting it in S tier. It's one of my favorites that they had. It was, I don't know why. I've never, like, I never have had, like, a, I've never had, like, a Jalapeno Strawberry drink. But the Rain Inferno Jalapeno Strawberry, when it, when I couldn't find it places, I ordered it online for, like, a pack of them like a 20 pack of them for like way more than i should have paid per <laughs> per drink i think it was like 50 dollars or something for 20 of them and that was a while ago i don't even know if you can buy them anywhere now but it definitely was a polarizing flavor but i loved the jalapeno strawberry the other infernos um d not good not great not good same thing with the rainstorms, the clean, clean energy Celsius competitor. They didn't taste good. I don't know why they aren't as good as Celsius, but they aren't. I don't know what they, Celsius does differently, but it's different. Not good. Um, all right, we're going on to our... We got a couple more big brands, and then we're going to go into random random brands that I just lumped all together into obscure land. So we got Ghost. Ghost is a Ghost is a good brand. I like Ghost. I think they thrive the most with their sour things though. I think like um oh, let me yeah, let me shrink this. Like I think sour the sour patch kids flavors A tier. Um, Sour Warheads A tier. They had a, which I actually got because I went to this event. They had a exclusive EDC, um, EDC flavor that they just sold at the EDC rave party thing that I went to. So I actually got it, and it was good. I put, I put all, I put all ghosts in. A tier. There's not a bad. I haven't had a bad ghost. I haven't. They weren't. Yeah, I, I'd put them above. Yeah, I put them all in A tier. I think they're good. And yeah, that's it. Ah, oh, but but I like. It's so hard. Oh man. 
I'm going to move him to B. Moving him to B tier. I, did, I never... I never would pick them over a Celsius, a good Celsius. So that's why I'm moving them to B tier. Like I'd never, I never would pick them over a Celsius or a rain, anything in A tier. Uh, they, they, they would go in B tier. Like occasionally I'll be like, yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a ghost. So I <laughs> hit quick, quick edit right there. Then we got the bangs. Um, Bang, I used to love Bang. Then Rain came out and showed me what a really what a good zero sugar flavor should be with like a lot of caffeine, <laughs> which sounds a little weird. But Bangster Berry, not good. It's D tier. Let's see. Oh, they have these T line ones that I didn't know existed. Till I went to a Dollar Tree and they had these tea ones and then they had um what was another one they had in there? Oh yeah, the cherry blade lemonade was in there. And then another bang. There was like some atrocious bangs that were a dollar in the in the um Dollar Tree, because like they they must have just made way too many of them and knew they weren't gonna sell them. So those are all going in F tier. I think it was, I don't know. I'll put four in F tier. The best bang flavor for me is the Rainbow Unicorn one. I think that one's incredible. So I'll put that in A tier. But the other ones I will never pick over a rain. Like I might choose a Rainbow Unicorn. If you gave me like a, if you gave me like a Blue Raspberry or a Melon Mania, or if you gave me any of the drinks in the A tier against a Rainbow Unicorn, I would sometimes pick a Rainbow Unicorn. But I can't say that for if you gave me any of the S tier ones. Depending on how much caffeine I want. Because that's where Red Bull kind of sucks. Is Red Bull just doesn't have a lot of caffeine in it. So the taste is the only reason why the sugar-free Red Bull is up there, really. But... Um, yeah, the bang, the bangs have like this weird f aftertaste flavor that is just weird when you've had a rain and it doesn't, it's not satisfying. The pur oh, purple is bad. That's F tier. That, that's the only bad ones, the really bad ones though. Bangs aren't terrible. I'm putting them all in C tier. I'm not going to go through all the different flavors. I think really... Maybe, eh, I'll move like, I'll move like Star Blast up to B tier. I think that's Star Blast. Or, yeah, that's a good one. And then the Sour one's good. And then Blue Raspberry's good. Then the other ones are just mediocre. Um, yeah, so that's it for, that's it for all of the or that's it for the individual flavored ones that I am ranking. Now I have this new, this other category that I have, uh, which is just obscure flavors. So these are um, not obscure flavors. They're just like brands that you know, you might know, but they're really not up there with like popularity wise, like full throttle. Full Throttle and NOS are popular, but they're not like, they don't have a ton of flavors. Like I put, I'll put throw, oh, I'll put Full Throttle in B tier. Full Throttle is good. Like I like Full Throttle. I won't ever have it because it's super sugary. I think they just released a zero sugar. Like they just recently just branched out and made a zero sugar one. Like <laughs> they've had just Full Throttle forever. I don't know who makes it, but same thing with NOS. NOS is pretty, Moss is okay. Put it in C tier. Um, what's another popular one? I think that's it for... Oh, C4. C4 is... I don't like drinking because they have the thing that, like, pre-workouts have. So, like, if you don't, if you drink it and you don't... aren't going to work out, you're getting the... 
the like bug crawling on you feeling, which I don't like. But they taste good. I'll put them. I'll put all of them in C tier. I don't think I've had a bad Celsius. Then you got the Zoa. I'm gonna put that in. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put that. Uh, they're not bad. I've had a few Zoas. I'll put them in C tier. Zoas aren't bad. They're they're not great though. Like, I would never. I would never pick them, but I would drink it if like somebody offered me it. <laughs> if that's like a alternative, like if you offered me anything below C tier, I wouldn't drink it. Yeah, I wouldn't want those. They're just bad. Like D's bad. Unless I was like, the only reason why I would drink D or F tier ones is if I needed caffeine badly and it was like the only thing I could drink would be that. But just on pure taste, if you offered me anything below C tier, I would not drink it. Um, so that's like the little breakdown of the tier, <laughs> of what I'm thinking of the tiers. Then you got, um, Alani's. Um, I gotta put these in D, or D tier. They're too, they're too, like, seltzery. They just taste like seltzer water, which I just don't like. They don't have, <coughs> they're not, like, super flavorful. I don't like them. I've had a, I haven't had all the flavors of the Alani's, but I've had a few of them. Not that great. Um, Prime, I'll put in D tier too. It's like a super, so it's like a super carbonated drink that it just, the flavor just doesn't, like the energy drink flavor is not the same as their hydration flavor and it's just bad. G Fuel, this is specifically the canned G Fuels. I haven't had a good canned G Fuel. They've all just been not good. Like, I think G Fuel just shouldn't be tried to make carbonated. Like, they carbonated the PewDiePie flavor and the other ones, and it's just, they don't taste good carbonated. I don't like the, don't like the G Fuels carbonated. So, any G Fuel in a can, haven't been a fan of. Um, man, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> There's so many energy tricks. It's insane. Oh, Mountain Dew Amp. This was like a thing that they did before Mountain Dew made Kickstart. I think, I think this is before Kickstart. And it was all right. I put it in C tier. Then they made Kickstart. That thing was awful. It was like tried to be somewhat healthy so they just like took a lot of the sugar out of the drink but it didn't they didn't replace any like they didn't put any like fake sugar and it just was disgusting tasting um <laughs> there's this one super fuel i had i'm pretty sure i had this and it was all right i'll put it in c tier wasn't terrible wasn't bad um 3d another obscure one i've had D tier, accelerator, pretty much the same thing. Focus aid, same thing. D tier, wouldn't drink it again. Starbucks espresso energy drink, D tier. This weird anime one I got in Hawaii it was pretty good. I'll put it in C tier. It was a good flavor. I don't know who makes it, but it's apparently like from Boston, I think. V8 energy, I'm gonna put in B tier. I love those things. They're like V8, um, they're like V8 drinks, but they have caffeine in them. Like they add caffeine and like B vitamins and stuff, and they're pretty good. I would I would recommend to try those if you haven't. If you're not huge in the other energy drinks, because it's like a it's like a fruit and vegetable blend energy drink. So it gives you like I think there's 80 milligrams of caffeine in there, and it's from like healthy healthy stuff. So it's it's good just a weird pull of uh the energy <laughs> some of the energy drinks i had this brand ray's energy ray's energy drink is very good i will put them in a tier as a whole like all of these flavors are incredible i would 
I l- would love if they were around here. They're from Florida, I'm pretty sure. And I don't know how I got it. Oh, I do know how I My brother ordered me them from online and just got me a variety pack, and they were incredible. And I bought them like three more times, but they're it's like expensive to just buy it online when you can't get it in a store. And then my favorite of all those, if you are near Ray's Energy Drinks, is Galaxy Burst. I'm pretty sure Galaxy Burst is my favorite one. Putting that in S tier, definitely up there. They're all really good, though. It's tough to pick a, the best out of the Ray's ones. Like, they're all they're, <laughs> they're all good. If they were around here, oh boy. I don't think I would... Uh, Like just thinking about it, I think I would have it over all of these in A tier if they were around here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the whole raise. I'm gonna put the whole raise thing up in S tier. They're just all really good. Um, yeah. So if you're if you if you're around raise energy, I think they're in GMCs in like Florida and maybe like vitamin shops and stuff. I would check it out if you're looking for a new energy drink if they still exist they might be out of business sadly just because they're they just were competing in a very saturated market as you can see there's a billion flavors over here that exist uh venom energy this is good but terrifying it's like a you can get these in grocery stores i don't know where but around here you can get them in a grocery store for like a dollar and it's just like an energy drink, and it's, it's, they're not bad. They're pretty good for a dollar. Then you got Mountain Dew Energy, which is like their rebrand of Kickstart, because Kickstart was so bad. And I put the whole of Mountain Dew Energy in the B tier. Like, they have sugar in them, but they're not a lot of sugar. And they're smooth. They, like, taste, they're good to drink. Gatorade Fast Twitch, I'll just put that in, uh, I'll put that in F tier. Gatorade doesn't need to go in energy drinks. It doesn't taste that good. And it's small. It's just not good. Coke Energy. Another F tier. Shouldn't have existed. Tastes, it tastes weird. Like when you drink it, it doesn't... For some reason, when you add more caffeine or whatever they add to it, it makes the Coke just taste nasty. Then the last one is Yerba Mate Mat. Which I'll put in B tier. It actually is surprisingly good. Um, it's a healthy thing, and apparently Yerba Mate, or whatever you say, is good for you too. Uh, yeah, so I'll put it in B, and that is it. These are just extra pictures I have. I don't know why they're there. So that's my insanely big tier list of all the energy drinks I've had, even though I've had more than this. Let me see. I'll shrink my head a little bit so you can see all of them. Um, yeah, there it is. In all its glory, this insanely long video <laughs> of me just rambling about energy drinks. Uh, comment your favorite energy drink down below. Um, and if you do go out and try them, if you go do go out and try the ones that I recommend trying or put in my S or a tier let me know what you think if you haven't had it before that's it that's pretty much it